And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world's famous ventriloquist, Willie Tyler, and his pal, Lester. <laughs> Daddy, she must be an Avon lady. Well, why do you say this? Because she just rang my chime. <laughs> rang your chime? Rang your chime? Yeah. You know I don't know how to ring nobody chimes. Nah. Oh. <laughs> me. Yeah, this, you, you sure Michael Jackson started like this last time? <laughs> You shouldn't worry about things like that because, you know, you're supposed to be a secret agent, right? Yeah. And you, 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 know, you know about things like that, right? Yeah. You went to spy school? Yeah, I learned seven five different languages. In spy school? Yeah. Let me hear you say something in German. I surrender. <laughs> something in Albanian? I surrender. Spanish? I surrender. Because I surrender all you know? That's enough. <laughs> but lots of agents have gadgets to help them in their work. Do you have any gadgets? Like, uh, do you have a phone in your shoe? I used to have dated, but I had to have it taken out. Well, why? I kept getting crank calls on Dr. Scholl. <laughs> <laughs> well, where do you keep your secret phone now? I can't tell you, man. They're talking to my knee. Oh, I'm talking to your knee, talking to the knee, man. Hello? Hello? Unless your knee is out of order. Why don't you shake my ankle? Maybe you'll get your dying back. <laughs> When you go out on assignment, you dress a special way, right? You throw on a lead underwear to detect me against radiation. Steel vest to stop bullets. I got that Scott to stop karate chops. Bronze hat to stop falling objects. Then I put on my earmuffs. Earmuffs? Yeah. What for? So I won't hear all that noise when I fall over. <laughs> the spying must be awful dangerous. You must tell us about some of your exports, right? Yeah, I chased this spy down in Mexico. Well, how did you catch him? Went to where all the crowds gathered down there. You mean the bullfights? No, the divorce court. <laughs> well, what did you do after that? Went to my hotel room then to get some rest. Woke up the next morning, I found a tarantula spider on the pillow. A tarantula spider you found on your pillow? Yeah. I thought tarantulas were only found in bunches of bananas. Yeah, well, that'll teach me to smoke in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you mind? Yeah. Now, you have different jobs as, as you, you use as cover, right? I could talk better than you and I'm a dummy. No. <laughs> So you have different jobs that you use as cover, you know what I mean. Now, you used to be a... You used to be a... <laughs> Don't laugh, man. I can't talk, man. Get it together. No, you used up. <laughs> you used to be a bartender, right? Yeah, I made up my own drink, man. Is that right? Yeah, you know that gin and lemon juice is called a Tom Collins? Yeah. I made up a drink made of gin and water lemon juice. <laughs> and what's it called? Uncle Tom Collins. <laughs> hey, but you used to work as an entertainer, right? What do you mean, used to? No, well, you know, you used to be, you're an entertainer, right? So I want you to go right here. Lay an impersonation on the folks, Mr. Louis Armstrong. Go right here. Right now? Right now. Hello, Dolly. Well, he Hey, baby. What's the matter? Don't that hurt your throat? <laughs> You know what I mean, man? Okay, you quick thinker, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give you something to test your quick quickness of thought. Wanna try that again? No, quickness of thought. <laughs> Come on, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take it back to the hair bear, the hairy days. This is before radio, television, and the movies. Now, I will be the villain. This young man right here will be the heroine, the young lady. The scene opens. <clears throat> the whip. Oh no, not the whip. <laughs> <laughs> the whip. Oh, no, not the whip. <laughs> the whip. Oh, no, not the whip. Anything. Anything but the whip. <laughs> Anything. I'd like to ask you one other thing. You know, you were smuggled into an enemy hideout in the bass violin case, right? Yeah. But the enemy, they discovered you, right? Yeah. Well, what was your reaction when they opened the door of the bass violin case and you looked out? 
What did you say? Man, I looked out at it and I said, ding, 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 ding. 